All right, guys, uh, just coming on for a wee quick one. My, um, what do you call it? My live still hasn't verified. I don't know why. I verified my number, I verified my email address, I verified everything. I don't know what's taking it so long, or maybe it's 24 hours for each. I don't know, but um, I will be on to do a live as soon as it's up and run. Um, but uh, I wanted to sort of change the change the the theme of my channel. Forgot that word there. Goodness sake, my brain is going. Um, I'm going to start talking a lot about the Word of God, simply because it's everything around you. So why would you not want to talk about it? Um, you know, people out there always deny the Bible and deny the the, the Word and, and the and the Gospel and the Bible and deny deny deny. Uh, deny the teachings but you know it's one of the most it, 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 it is the most ancient book of all um, and this was written back whenever the population of the world couldn't have been more than a 20,000 people um, you know and, 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 and the texts and stuff are written by by people who who knew Jesus and knew, knew who he was and followed him um, so I don't get why people still don't dare uh, wouldn't wouldn't pick it up and read it, you know. It's a brilliant book. It has everything in it. It's it, it basically is the book of life, the Bible, the book of life, the earthly book of life, um, the heavenly book of life. Obviously, is in, in the hands of God. But yeah, it's uh, I want to uh, start going through that and and reading wee bits and pieces out of it, um, just so as I can bring you in and studies because I I'm I'm obsessed with archaeology and history and, uh. Everything that I watch or everything that I read is all is all to do with um, archaeology, history, anthropology. I even read um, Stephen Hawking's A Theory of Everything. That's that's a pretty fascinating book. Um, it's obviously it goes against uh, well, it doesn't go against the teachings of the Bible because um, Hawking himself says in the book that uh, the only the only uh, thing that he or the only uh, thing that he thinks. Is possible to have started the Big Bang was was a uh, intelligent design, which is true because something doesn't come from nothing, you know. Um, even the even in the Bible itself, you know, it was telling you to run your hands and or wash your hands and run in water for because the germs will wash away. Then you know we can't wash them in a basin of water. The way doctors used to one hundred and fifty years ago. Um, but, you know, the, this book is thousands and thousands of years old and they're telling people that before science here even knows about it or the life of the body is in the blood. You know, how, how long have doctors known to test people's blood for, for illnesses? Not very long. And the Bible was saying that thousands of years ago. Oh, there's loads of different ones like the earth is free floating in space and all that stuff. Um, but if you look into it and, and you actually read through it, you'll, it'll, it will blow your mind the amount of stuff that before science and before medicine even thought of it, the Bible was telling us to do it. It's honestly it's mind blowing because I I haven't really ever sat down to read the Bible. I've read wee bits and wee pieces and here and there and and you know I know sort of vaguely no basic story you know I know basic stories and stuff from it. Not vaguely because I do know the stories, the story of Christ, you know. Um, Moses, Exodus, you know, Exodus, Genesis. We know, we know all the major stories in the Bible, but it's the wee bits in between that that people don't read, and they're the bits that are the they're the important bits, you know. Um, like even even at the start of the even at the start of the Book of Mark, there, you know, only a couple of pages into it, and there Jesus is speaking. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. You know, what, what I don't get about human beings is, and I'm not rolling down human beings because we're all, you know, we have our free will to, to choose what we want. But, you know, it's, it's you know, the, 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 the rules and, and the rules on life are so basic. Just do everything with kindness in your heart and love. And that's that's simple. You know, there'd be no wars, there'd be no murders, there'd be no, but none of that. If everybody just did what the Bible told them to do. Well, not that not that it's ordering you to do anything. It's it's a guide, you know. But <coughs> excuse me. But it's a very accurate guide, and it's a very very good way to live your life. Um, and that's the way I'm bringing Thomas up. Uh, him and I would read New Testament scripture daily. Um, and he needs to get a wee Bible as well. I actually, have 
one I got from the Source Youth, Source Youth Club. And wait one second, I can't remember what date it was I got this, but it was a, a youth club I used to go to normally. We called it, it was Source Youth Club. Um, I actually speak to one of the guys who was a, was one of the leaders at it in church at the minute. He, he, I, I, he goes to the same church I go to. Um, but it was to, 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 to Gary from Aaron and all the leaders of the Source Youth Club, 21st of the 3rd, 2006. So 2006, I would have been 15. 15. And this and this book has saved my life. This Bible has saved my life more times than one. Um, and it, it quite rightly says on the front of it, God's plan for you, live it, breathe it, shout it. And that's true because, you know, whenever, whenever uh, Moses spoke to God at the burning bush um, and he asked God what should I call you and God says Yahweh right but because of my studying in the ancient language and and, and the way they wrote in hieroglyphics and, and the way they expressed themselves through stories and, and, and parables and gospels and things like that not gospels but parables and well yeah gospels because a lot of them are the truth um, and what they do is they write what they hear, right? So Yahweh, that is, that is a breath. So whenever he asked God, what should I call you? And God went and breathed. Yeah. That was God's way of, now this is, this is, this is, this is my conclusion to it. Uh, that was God's way of saying, my name is always on your lips because when you breathe, you're saying my name. So, Every time you take a breath in, you're saying the name of God. Um, so that that in itself should just should should prove to you, should prove to you without a doubt that every single thing here, including us, every stone, every piece of sand, every particle of air, of oxygen outside, belongs to God. It's for him, through him, and by him. By him, for him, and through him. So everything belongs to God. Everything. And God. Uh that that's 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 why you know not not that you, you need God needs to justify anything he does, but that's why I believe that he came down here in human flesh as Jesus to sort of feel what it's like to be alive now i know that's that's probably something that's not right at all um because he came down here to to, to save our to save ourselves from our sins to save us from the from the evil from the evil ways we are um but god had to i mean a click noise anyway. cool uh god had to come down in the flesh as the sun as the lamb To get a feel for being human, um, that's what I believe anyway. Uh, he's an awesome God, like you know, he's there's there's nobody nobody can ever tell me any different. Um, but yes, anyway, I got sidetracked there a wee bit. But what I'm saying is, you need to start reading your Bible, even if you don't believe in it. You know, it's like. People out there that say they're atheists, they believe in Satan. And it's like, well, if you believe in evil, why can you not believe in good? Good and evil go together. You know, there's a balance there. Um, and it's, it just bugs me how people can believe in stupid things. And yet they turn around and say, well, what about Jesus? And they go, well, he never existed. Okay. The most famous man ever to exist on planet Earth. A man who is they're still talking about thousands of years later. A man who conquered the grave, who conquered death, who conquered evil. And you would believe in the Easter Bunny before you believe in him. I, I just don't get that. Like, Certainly the best thing to do would be pick up your Bible and read it. You know? Um... Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a shower here because I'm not long up. I just dropped Thomas the summer scheme there a wee while ago. And 
when you go get washed and stuff. And I'm knackered. I was going to say, go to bed for an hour, but I need to tidy this house for... Well, not tidy it, just give it a wee mop and a wee brush just for his birthday on the 10th. Um, yes, anyway guys, take her handy and uh, I will see you in the next one. Maybe look a bit better than what I do now. <laughs> see you as pals.